Howdy folks, Corky Duke here, um, and welcome to my very first uh, try at Robin Hood Sherwood Builders. It's a brand new game. Um, I'm not very good at RPG games, but I'll learn and hopefully get better. Now, there's one reason you're going to want to watch this. It's because, unlike other gamers, I can speak with an English accent. Every time they play a Robin Hood game, they burn our village down. Leave us alone, Mel Brooks. <laughs> I'm probably going to be quoting Men of Tights more than Prince of Thieves. All right, here we go. I'm going to start a new game. All right, here we go. I've played, been playing a little bit, trying to trying to learn it. It kind of caught me caught up there in a little bit, but I, I got past it and I learned it. So I'm doing a little bit better. But it seems like a pretty cool game. Robin of Luxley survived the burning suns of faraway lands as he served his role in the unforgiving crusades. He emerged unscathed from deadly skirmishes just to become an exile and face mightier enemies in his own home country. After his previous hideout in Silwich, which was razed to the ground, the forests of Sherwood granted refuge to him and his retinue while its new rulers threatened all. King Richard the Lionheart's untimely demise plunged England into chaos and left roving bands and their petty warlords free to fight amongst themselves for territory and influence. The Sheriff of Nottingham, a murderer and usurper, exploiting the pervasive lawlessness, pillages one area after another, increasing his power and leaving the poor residents of Sherwood at the mercy of wild fate. All right. Here we go. M is the map. Okay. Uh, precise. Oh, uh, yeah, I want easy. I'm not good at these games, so I better, better, yeah, that's, that's what I want. Hold, toggle. Oh, what does toggle do? Yeah, I want hold. Okay. I'm supposed to be able to run faster once I hold the button down. Woohoo! I'm home. Cheerio! Okay. okay, Robin Hood's main goal is to liberate the four regions in central England from the rule of the Sheriff of Rottingham and his followers, eliminating enemies and aiding the defenseless through quests, aiding the defenseless, through quests and events increases Robin's reputation in a given region. Achieving a score of 40% reputation in a region unlocks the ability to start its main story quest, whose success, successful conclusion ultimately liberates that region. Okay, I see that region there. While exploring a region, you will encounter events and quests that will bring you closer to completing your adventure's main goal. M, okay. Some of these, well, that's ma M is that map. Yeah, right there. Some of these will include saving village residents from execution, escorting them, and rescuing them from kidnappers. Attacking convoys, warehouses, and tax collectors. Defending people against corrupt knights, ruthless soldiers, forest raiders, and many other threats. Jehovah's Witnesses, would that be a threat that's included? Uh, your character development will depend on the effective use of skill points and expansion of your own settlement, allowing you to craft the necessary items, gain special abilities, or produce the necessary raw materials. Okay. Check goals. J. J. Check goals. Okay. Barnsdale. Okay, we got that. Okay. Regions, okay. Speak to talk. Okay, first thing I yeah, I gotta do is speak to talk. All right. She'll find some back. I need to fill up my water. Fill up my water bottles. I figured out how to do this. All right, my water bottle is full. Yarrow, yarrow potion. 
Am I supposed to say that one in English, Axel? Cheerio. All right. I, when it comes to accents in movies, one of the weirdest things I've ever seen was... The movie I off always worry when you're away from home for long, Robin. The 1979 movie All Quiet on the Western Front with Richard Thomas, you know, John Boy from the Waltons. He's in the hospital and a German soldier um, says, you know, he's off to the, the uh, death room. You know, a, a German soldier is speaking English with a, a British accent. And I was like, man, that's weird. <laughs> anyway. My good friar, the sheriff will face death well before I do. Hoity as always. I'm just glad to see you in good health, friend. Don't worry. We're not in danger this time. We're safe here. Okay, why does Robin Hood have a mohawk? Somebody want to explain that one to me? I can't help but worry. After that nightmare when the Crown's men discovered our old home. This time they won't run into us. We're well hidden. I saw to that. We have our cloaking device. The previous settlement was so splendid, too. But I know you all too well, you crafty fox. Fighting back matters to you, doesn't it? What matters is everyone made it out alive. After I defeated Black Henry and freed Marion, the sheriff completely lost his composure. I must stop the enemy before he becomes too powerful. Enemies, plural. The king and the sheriff don't stop at their own henchmen. You constantly hear about even more scoundrels plaguing the surroundings of Nottingham. King's allies grow in numbers. Some are bought with land assignment, others threatened with death and confiscations. We must weaken the grip of the king and the sheriff if we are to feel safe here. Hey, it's working. Definitely, Robin. Why, just recently, little John got his shirt all cut up. We mm. can't have you all take risks like that. Who a cut up shirt? God forbid! He'll recover. You know him. We each have our crosses to bear. You say so yourself. Well said. You know, you may be right. This settlement seems secure. This time, no one will find us. Time to let an arrow loose right into the beast's heart. I believe you, dear Robin. But before you do that, you must regain your strength. Setting up a new village is exhausting work. This guy talks a lot with his hands, doesn't he? Eat something. Have a drink. Rest in your home. We'll talk later. Okay, equipment. This is what your inventory looks like. I'm already kind of familiar with this. You can find all the equipment in it. You can access it at any time by simply pressing I. Hold tab to access it during the game. You can also use hot bar items by pressing the red button number C. Got that. I understand that. The backpack has a limited capacity and carry weight. As you progress through Robin's skill, tree you will be able to increase the amount of space in your inventory sometimes in the course of your travels you may find yourself in possession of special items these are typically related to quests they weigh nothing and take up no space in your inventory that's good that's uh, that's that's a good thing in the world you will come across several sets of apparel each consists of seven items armor gauntlets trousers and boots improve robin's skills needed in battle Parts such as the hood, shoulder, and cloak are items that only affect appearance, okay? Without protection, the force of Sherwood would be impossible to survive, even for the craftiest of outlaws. Special gear can be purchased in the weaving mill, which can be constructed in Robin's village. The armor Robin wears can only be switched out for another. Robin always wears armor or sold to a merchant. It's worth, to rem it's worth to remember, however, that crafting and collecting it isn't always the easiest feat. 
Items you no longer want in your inventory can't be discarded on the ground. Remember, however, that they will most likely disappear inevitably after time. If you don't want to lose anything, put it in a safe place, preferably in your chest. Okay. All right. It's raining. Okay. Now this is this is what threw me before about eating and stuff. But I finally figured it out. Okay, we're going to collect some of this stuff. And we're going to fill my uh, water bottle back up. And I think now I can uh, touch all this stuff. Looks like rocks, I'm not sure what good the rocks are. I'm going to collect more of this stuff in the morning as I sleep. Drink that, I'm an alcoholic. How are these rocks? What do these rocks do? Okay, I don't need to talk to the trader right now. It's my bed. Something. There you go. Okay. Kevin. 
Yep, this is it. Apple. What about everything in there? So I take it that's the chest that I'm supposed to store things in. Well rested. Sleeping is important. It's not only allows you to save for progression, but also restores your health. Look for places marked with owls and lanterns. This is where you will be able to rest. Owls and lanterns. Be careful though, after a sleepy night, your hunger and thirst will get the best of you. The game auto saves whenever you fast travel or walk up close to a signpost or a stable master. There is no auto save in combat during an event or during the instances related to some quests. Barley bread. Barley bread is nasty as it sounds. Ticket that's dawn, yeah. So we'll sleep till dawn. All right. We'll speak to Tuck now. We gotta go speak to him again. Did I get everything here? Stable Masters. You can use the map to fast travel to a uh, chosen, chosen signpost or Stable Master location. You can only use it if your destination has been discovered. If you're not in you're not in combat and in event or certain enclosed locations like the castles. Fast traveling to a signpost costs hunger and thirst, while fast traveling to a Stable Master costs gold. A dash line on your map hints at the nearest. Location of a fast travel point. Okay. While viewing the map, you can press the show keys button. In the lower left corner to display locations where a key in your possession can't be used. Some keys are specific and pinpoint to a single location on the map, while others are more obscure and can only be assigned in an area. The show repu reputation sources button on the map allows you to distinguish locations where you can earn reputation from all others. Alrighty. Alright. Here we're tough goes. I'm sure he's still in the same place, I just got to remember where that was. Have you already managed to get some rest? Good friend, it'll never cease to amaze me how quickly you recover. But so little sleep can't be good for you. It's good for you, as long as you have water instead of wine, good friar. So you say. But those who sleep long aren't quick to sin. I'll be keeping my wine. <laughs> I knew how you'd react. Take it easy, Tuck. Your cask supply is safe. I should think so. It's a strategic reserve for a time of crisis. Certainly. Not another word. I take it you make yourself so exhausted. You can't keep track of your things. 
Where's your bow? This time I didn't lose anything. They broke it during the hunt. We've had so much work with building the new village that I haven't had time to craft a new one yet. The forest hasn't been kind to us of late. The worst is behind us, however, and you can take to making your bow in peace. Grab a hatchet and fell a few trees. The wood should suffice for both the bow and the arrows. I have a hemp cord here that should do as a bowstring. That's all the help I need. Thank you, Tuck. A bow is crucial for survival. See to crafting it, but be right back. Our village needs your help. All righty. Crafting a character development. Owning to Robin's crafting skills, you'll have an easy time creating some basic equipment. Select the item that interests you in your inventory, choose the amount, and click the craft button. Items that need more specialized equipment, such as swords, will require you to return to the village of the specifically designed building. Learning new skills. Excuse me. Learning new skills or improving the ones already known requires experience. You can gain it in many ways, from fighting enemies, completing quests, extracting resources, hunting and gathering, to construction. Skill points can be used to develop the skill tree or spent on developing buildings in the village that affect your special skills. Knowledge is power. Skill points can also be found in the world in the form of books or scrolls. Okay. Craft bow, craft arrows, Turn back around. Okay, so we got to put this bow, craft,
screw up. Okay. I already have 40 arrows. So I need to craft a bow, don't I? Looks like I might need to get rid of uh, some of my inventory. Okay, alright. So let me eat something. I'm gonna need to anyway. Eat the apple. Alright. I got the bowstring now. Okay, I got it now. All right. There we go. Crap. All right. I got a bow now. Okay. And crap arrows. arrow through tuck <laughs> no I'd probably better not do that what the hell see this bow is a start that will leave you with fewer reasons to fear unless you get on Marion's bad side again and suggest a post in the kitchen for her even the purest steel and holy water wouldn't help you then Time's long past. We've explained things to each other and agreed I wouldn't make this mistake again. <laughs> uh, speaking of whom, have you seen her anywhere? Calm yourself. No one's lured her into a trap this time. She said she absolutely had to go and help with the locals. So she'll be back soon. That sounds like her. You said you could use my help here? Yes. There are many things we need, food being most urgent. A better archer couldn't be found in all of Sherwood. Before you set off to take from the bridge, perhaps you could use your skills to aid us. I'll gladly try out the new bow. Stoke the fire, we're having a roast tonight. I'll leave the meat in storage. Everyone in the village is working so intensely, a small feast should lift their spirits. The Great Hunt. One way of securing food is through hunting. Luckily, there's no shortage of, shortage of game in the local woods. A hunter's skillful eye is bound up to promptly spot prey where it's most easily found. Those are alert, careful creatures. Sometimes they're a little tricky quarry. It's essential to approach them carefully and make a good and make good use of your archery skills. Make a point of that. Ah. 
To use your bow, all you need is a few arrows and a free arm to draw. Senses are one of your most important skills. Their development significantly affects gameplay and is possibly possible by developing the trapper hut in your village. Hunter's vision and tracking are the most useful senses when hunting. However, remember to also develop intuition and keen eyesight, the levels of which improve the performance of the other senses. Oh, look at this. Hunter vision, okay? That's what R does. It's just as useful while hunting as during a fight is the ability to make the passage of time seem slower to Robin. F, it allows him to more easily manage his targets. This as well as other skills can improve in the skill tree. Okay. You gotta go find some gear. Straight into the right. Did I? Um. Let's cook some. We're not gonna be able to cook a stone. Barley bread. Roast rabbit. Can't craft it. Turn to the right, cross the bridge, then turn to the left. going straight into the
There should be some deer around here. I guess I have to have a, a bow. Or I mean, a, a, a doe. A bow a doe. Okay, I see. Okay. So how do I how do I get the meat? I guess I'm running out of uh, room.
I put some of this stuff into that storage area. Seems like I got too much stuff. Just oh, uh, let's see. Salt. Oh, okay, chest. Okay, I see. Wine. Paint. Put the antlers in there, too. Put some of the salt in there as well. Repair tools, yeah. Okay, this should lighten my load a little bit. I'll put the wine in there. Don't be whining about it. Alright. Getting training. Okay. Now I gotta go get that deer. So now I wanna turn left. Oops. general direction. Should come across that vehicle double that I enjoy. going to be there, I may have to just shoot another one.
good. Got the hide in. And... All right. So, I guess I can't have, can't carry around all that stuff. So, uh, do I need more? I think I need more. Don't need five out of twenty-five. same deer. You would think Inventory forty six out of a hundred. And if you want to disengage your shot without wasting the arrow, right click. Found that out. Disengage your bow without firing an arrow, right click. Aha. Ah. So how much do I have now? Nine hide and 15 meat. We need another 10 meat. I can't get any more from these two?
Okay, is that finally got enough meat? 20, no, I need one more. 25. Right here, I should have enough meat. There we go. Okay, how much do we got now? I got 25 meat. Okay, that's what I need. Deliver the meat to the warehouse. Speak to the tub. The warehouse? Okay, alright. Well, from there I gotta fill up my water bottle. I'm slowly figuring this game out. Something. Oh, okay. Tree to cut down. got to be it right here. Kind of point. Manage my village. Is this the warehouse here? Is this where I'm supposed to put it? Let's find out.
Okay, that is it. All right. Speak to the cup. Okay. Got it figured out. Oh. Cheerio. Get out of the bloody way. Hell. All right, here we go. Saints and heavens above, your back safe and sound. Good Robin, allow me to ask, how goes the matter of our does? Was your hunt successful? How long have we known each other that you still need to ask? <laughs> My eyes haven't failed me this time either. I just hope that there's enough for everyone. Please, make sure they have a warm meal today. By the blessed mother, of course it shall be done. Well fed and under your leadership, they will soon take up proper work. Hmm. What do you mean by that? The expansion of our settlement, of course. The merry men are starting to run out of breathing room. You are surrounded with many loyal people. Each of them needs a roof over their head. The more houses there are, the more able bodies will have for work. I think I know what you're hinting at, Tug. Have I become that predictable? Hmm. In that case, I won't beat about the bush. We need wood to construct homes for the village's inhabitants. There's more of us here with each passing day. Okay, so I gotta chop down more wood. So 20 pine in storage. Stone in storage. I already have stone, or did I? Alright, um... Stone, there's two stone. Here. Let's put the dough hide in storage. Dough hide. I know where it is. All right. Um. stones, right? Okay, got it. So there's two stones in storage. I think I have more stones. Didn't I put some in the storage of my house? Oh, let's get some water. Where's that water well at? Stones in the storage of my little hut. Is that it? 
Yeah, there we go. This is it right here. Woo! Stone Ring. Okay, yeah. So we can go and put these stones in that storage, then bring back the ones I don't need. And put them back in there until I need them again. But that's not it. get one or how do I get ten in there? Just get ten stones in there. Well, Well, I guess I'll leave the rough leave on that now because now I got I got to get more I got to get twenty things of uh, time.
All right, how many is that? Thirteen. I needed twenty, right? I saw another tree of out there. Too. Got to be kidding me! One short. Oh, wait, oh, we go. Just over here. Okay. 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 All right, that's it. Now I got 24. Okay. Got any more we're hanging around? All right, let's get back to where we were going. What we're doing, oh, these are these my uh, Jedi Master. Uh, this goes. I'm getting the hang of this game slowly but surely. Oh, this ain't it. This is one. This is I've always believed that carpentry is an exceptional craft. True. Looks cozy. Nothing like living in a tree. Ooh, boy! Well, time for those who live there to earn their keep. Fortunately, none of them expect a free dinner. We have a few tool production specialists here, and if you build a furnace, you will see that for yourself. Tuck, are you trying to use some underhanded ploy to send me out into the woods? God forbid. This time to the quarry. The furnace requires stone. Extract it and watch over the construction. You won't regret it, as we'll need the tools that the furnace provides. Okay. Hey, what's up? Messy as goat, is that your name? How you doing? Pine and storage. Gonna need more pine. What is that? Leaving storage? What is that? Leaving storage. Okay. More pine. And we 
reed, I guess. I can go to the river to get the reed, is what I'm guessing. I even want some pine to chop down right there. Got 25, that should be enough. Alright, well, let's go put this in the story. By the well, refill my water bottle. We got the pine. We need the reed. We need three with reed. I'm going to assume we got to go to the river to get that. But I'm assuming. back where we started. I don't already... 
pine resin. Okay, so I gotta go down the river. I, I, I was right, it is in the river, I just gotta go down farther. Up river. Alright. I assume that's where that lead is. And the three leads. There we go. Got about the lantern. something else. That's where the clay is. I assume I'm going to need that later. There we go. How do I pick the read up? Have it now? What did I do? Yeah, right there. Okay, I got three reed now. Okay, 
So, L or Matt, one of them, it said E, why did it say E if there was something else that um, collected it? Uh, we've got to keep going straight. Gotta go straight, go straight. Don't you dare turn down the road. No, that's not gonna work. Gotta take that read. Do I still have a do I have an empty bottle? No. My bottles are full. We're almost there. Yeah. Okay. Construct furnace. Speak up. Construct furnace. Manage your village. Construct arms trappers hut shooting range. Manage your arms tavern. Apparently this is not where I build the furnace. I'll we'll do that in my hut. Got me. I'm hurting all over, Robin. It's good to see you too, John. What happened? Oh, something snapped in me back. I can barely bend down. That must be normal at your age. Marion will make you a bomb for it. At my age? You've forgotten about our meeting on the bridge or what? You don't forget a blow like that. Although, I have been managing better in fights since then. Couldn't be any other way with a teacher as excellent as me! <laughs> and a friend as excellent as you, John. What adventure do you have? Nothing epic. A few thugs wanted to close. I need to have their faces caved in for it. You ready to teach them a lesson? I'll show you where they are. I'll gladly warm up my bones, and you be sure to mind hey, yours. Hey, CFL Saskatchewan, how you doing? What do you think? Excellent! Teeth are going to fly. Let's meet at the edge of the village. Is it? Have you, have, have you played it? Oh! <coughs> I should go to my barracks. And uh, maybe construct the furnace there.
Alright, so where do I build this furnace at? Sharpeners are the future. What? Steel sharpeners are too aggressive. You risk losing the subtlety of the point. Subtlety won't pierce through armor. The aggressiveness for penetration. Precise shot to the right spot negates the need for brute force. Brute force ensures your arrow gets where it needs to be, especially against tougher foes. Quality over quantity, my friend. A well sharpened arrowhead makes every shot count, and a quick aggressive sharpener ensures you have plenty of shots to count. Bah! Okay, so how do I build the furnace? A blacksmith who knows how to make arrows that hit their mark. Sometimes I dream of a life with no pointy sticks. <laughs> That hurt me? I did. My health has gone down. Okay. Where's that place where... Okay, nothing about building a furnace here. How do I build the furnace? Hello. Oh, it's 8.30, so probably going to have to wrap this up here in a little bit. i got to get ready for work. i got to head back to work tonight. Stone, two more stones. i got to figure out how to make a, uh, a furnace. How do I do that?
My water bottles must be full. Okay, I'm gonna have to end it right now. I gotta get going and get ready for work, get something to eat. Uh, so, main menu. There's no saving the game. It just saves from, I guess the last, Anyway, okay. Well, this is an interesting game, that's for sure. I'm not real big on uh, RPGs, but I'll check this game out for a while and see how I like it. Thanks, guys, for stopping in and saying hi. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm Corky Dude. Corky Dude.com is my website. Like, comment, and share my videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd appreciate it. Don't forget to check out my other YouTube channel, mostly play Farming Simulator 22, which is called, what the heck, come on, Corky Duke Farminator, and come on, what, how did, how did that get tangled up in there, all right, I'm going to have to get a new phone charger. This one got damaged. All right.